Hope, everyone is doing good. Welcome to our channel, and thank you for watching this video. I won't let allow you to waste your valuable time here. Today we will cover the below topics. 1. What is mean by intelligence? 2. What is mean by loneliness? 3. What is mean by love? 4. What is mean by meditation? We will see the first topic what is mean by intelligence. Training the intellect does not result in intelligence. Intelligence comes into being when one acts in perfect harmony, intellectually and emotionally. Is intelligence is not measurable. Thought is measurable, intelligence is not. Is intelligence demands doubt and impersonal observation. Intelligence demands doubting, questioning, not being impressed by others' enthusiasm or energy. Intelligence demands that there be impersonal observation. Is the body has its own intelligence? Why has the body become lazy? Probably one has overeat, overindulged sexually, done things the previous day and night to make the body heavy and dull. So the body wants to be left alone for a while, and one wants to whip it, make it active. But one does not correct the way of one's life, so one takes a pill to be active. But if one observes, one will see that the body has its own intelligence. It requires a great deal of intelligence to observe the intelligence of the body. One forces it, one drives it, one is used to meat, one drinks, smokes, and therefore the body loses its own intrinsic organic intelligence. To allow the body to act intelligently, the mind must become intelligent and not allow itself to interfere with the body. Try it, and you will see that laziness undergoes a tremendous change. I hope you understood what is mean by intelligence. So we are going to see the next topic. What is mean by loneliness? What a strange thing is loneliness? What a strange thing is loneliness, and how frightening it is. We never allow ourselves to get too close to it. And if by chance we do, we quickly run away from it. Why are you frightened of being alone? If you do not follow somebody, you feel very lonely. Be lonely then. Why are you frightened of being alone? It is good to be alone. It is good to be alone. To be far away from the world and yet walk its streets is to be alone. To be alone walking up a path beside a rushing, noisy mountain stream full of spring water and melting snows is to be aware of that solitary tree, alone in its beauty. The loneliness of man in the street is the pain of life. He's never alone, far away, untouched and vulnerable. To be full of knowledge is never to be alone, and the activity of that knowledge breeds endless misery. The demand for expression, with its frustrations and pains, is that man who walks the streets, he is never alone. Sorrow is the movement of that loneliness. Why do you want a friend? Why do you want a friend? Is it because you are lonely? Is it because you depend or rely on them? Is it to have companionship? Is it out of your insufficiency, depending on another to fulfill or fill that emptiness, and therefore you are using, exploiting another to cover your insufficiency and utter emptiness, and so call that person a friend? Most of us are lonely, and the older we get, the more lonely. We discover our emptiness, what it means to be lonely, to have no friend at all because you have led a superficial life and invested your thought, your feelings in another. And when they go away or die, you feel so lonely and empty. Out of that emptiness, there is self-pity, and then you again begin the game of seeking somebody to fill that loneliness. Can you see all this and learn from it? Learn what it means to be lonely and not escape from it. Look at it. Live with it. See what is implied so that psychologically you depend on nobody. Then only will you know what it means to love. I hope you understood what is mean by loneliness. So we are going to see the next topic. What is mean by love? Is freedom and love go together? Freedom and love go together. Love is not a reaction. If I love you because you love me, that is mere trade, something to be bought in the market, it is not love. To love is not to ask anything in return, not even to feel that you are giving something, and it is only such love that can know freedom. When does love arise? Love will arise in your heart when you have no barrier between yourself and another, when you meet and observe people without judging them. As love brings order, it is love alone that leads to right action. What brings order in the world is to love and let love do what it will. As love can do nothing. Love is not sorrow, nor is it made up of jealousy, but it is dangerous for it destroys. It destroys everything that man has built around himself except bricks. It cannot build temples nor reform the rotting society. It can do nothing, but without it, nothing can be done, do what you will. Love has no problem, and that is why it is so destructive and dangerous. Man lives by problems, those unresolved and continuous things. Without them, he wouldn't know what to do. He would be lost and in the losing gain nothing. So problems multiply endlessly. In the resolving of the one, there is another. But death, of course, is destruction. It is not love. Death is old age, disease. It is not the destruction that love brings. It is not the death that love brings. It is the ashes of a fire that has been carefully built up. Love, death and creation are inseparable. You cannot have one and deny the others. You cannot buy it on the market or in any church. These are the last places where you would find it. I hope you understood. What is mean by love? 
So we are going to see the next topic. What is mean by meditation? Is meditation is not a practice. Meditation is not a practice. It is not the cultivation of habit. Meditation is heightened awareness. Mere practice dulls the mind and heart, for habit denotes thoughtlessness and causes insensitivity. Right meditation is a liberating process, a creative self-discovery which frees thought feeling from bondage. And freedom alone is the real. Is meditation freedom from thought? Meditation is freedom from thought and a movement in the ecstasy of truth. Meditation is the explosion of intelligence. Can meditate alone. Meditate alone. Get lost. And don't try to remember where you have been. If you try to remember it, it will be something that is dead. And if you hold on to the memory of it, you will never be alone again. So meditate in that endless solitude, in the beauty of that love, in that innocency, in the new. Then there is imperishable bliss. Can we follow the wandering? My mind wanders. Why? I want to think about an idea, and in thinking about it, I see that my mind has gone off to something that happened yesterday. The first thought has gone, and another has taken its place. Therefore I examine every thought that arises. That is intelligent, isn't it? But you make an effort to fix your thought on something. Why should you fix it? If you are interested in the thought that comes, then it gives you its significance. The wandering is not a distraction. Do not give it a name. Follow the wandering, the distraction. Find out why the mind has wandered. Pursue it, go into it fully. When the distraction is completely understood, then that particular distraction is gone. When another comes, pursue it also. Mind is made up of innumerable demands and longings, and when it understands them, it is capable of an awareness that is not exclusive. Concentration is ex- Thank you for watching this video. I am sharing the information according to my knowledge, and for educational purposes only. Stay tuned. We'll meet up soon in the next video. Our motto, I am a world citizen. Every citizen is my own kith and kin. We are not alone in this journey. Thank you. The previous video link is available in the description. Have a look and if you feel these videos are helpful for you then support us. If you think this playlist is useful for others then share the video. All praise to God. And don't forget to press the notification button to see the next video, which is coming soon. Thank you.